Hello everyone, today we are going to play again with the polarization. We have a LCD display which is more or less white, and then we have a polarizer which I can rotate on different angles to have different white through it. And then we have a jar full of water and sugar. The water is warm in order to dissolve more sugar. I can rotate the polarizer, but I will put it on the, the jar to be parallel to the to the computer and uh, have a better picture. If I rotate it, then the, you see that the color is changed. Now it's uh, yellow, but then it starts to become blue and then start to be a dark blue. Probably at this position is my favorite color. You can comment which favorite color is yours. So we're going to explain what is going on, but first let's enjoy the colors. So I twist a little bit the polarizer and there are different colors. Purple, blue, yellow, white, yellow and so on. This can be done at home. If you use a computer screen, then uh, some bottle full with uh, sugar and water. Skip to use a plastic one, use a glass one. And for polarizer, you can use a polarizer or uh, glasses with a polarizer or 3D cinema glasses, which are combination of quattro wave plate and uh, polarizer. So if you use a 3D uh, glasses, then you need to turn them in the opposite way. Not to put them on your face, but rotate them. Now the electric field is oscillating in this field. So it's a polarized white. Then the polarizer is over here. So then, different white pass through to the polarizer. If the, the white is not polarized, then we can think about uh, two electrical fields that are perpendicular to each other. Now, we have a polarized white, and then if the white cross through the, the sugar with water, the finger rotates, which is the position plane is rotate. And uh, the reason why it's white is uh, changing its orientation is uh, due to the fact that uh, the speed of left circular polarized and right circular polarized white are different in a sugar solvent. Uh, you can think about it as uh, the case if you have a bolt and nut, and the nut is uh, with the same Chirality as the bolt, so in the same size, so we can twist it very easily. So it means the, the nut speed is high, but if you put a nut that has an opposite chirality compared to, to the bolt, and then it's difficult to, to move it in the bolt, so the speed is slower. You can move it, but you have to put more pressure and it's slow motion. So that's what happened in the sugar solvent. One why that is uh, right circle polarized is uh, faster than the left circle polarized white. And uh, any linear polarization could be decomposed to combination of left and right circle polarization. So one of the component is moving faster, the other one is not so faster. So there's a delay which leads to change of polarization plane. This is very important for industry. For example, if you want to measure the sugar concentration in a solvent, then you put the white. And if the white starts to twist, and from the angle of twist, you understand how much sugar is dissolved in the liquid, and then you know the concentration of sugar. This is also for uh, people 
who have suffered diabetic and then they measure the sugar level in their blood in a similar way. Also in the industry it happens that uh, one uh, chemical compounds that uh, have different properties due to the structure of the molecule. The molecule is so called chiral molecule which means it's uh, reflected from the mirror. So they are the same chemical elements, the bounds and stuff like that, but there are images from the mirror one to another. And one could be uh, a cure and the other could be a poison. So this is very important to find which one is which one. Okay, so uh, the way to do it is this optical activity. This is called optical activity. If the light passes through a, a liquid and the polarization plane is changed, it's called optical activity. <coughs> now, try the different colors. Then I twist it. I'll put the link below if you want to buy a polarizer from Amazon. I use it from Amazon. But as I said, you can use already glasses from 3D Cinema or polarizer glasses to, to make this demonstration. Okay, if you like the video, then you can give a thumb up and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Bye.